Hi. <laughs> wow, we have a lot to catch up on. So, I um, just went to edit some footage, realized that I um, left my mic on. Uh, there's like an on-off switch. And so the battery that's inside it ran out. So, um, we're gonna try not to do that again. <laughs> Luckily, I just bought AA batteries, so I had some on hand, which was nice. Um, which basically means that everything I was recording today had no sound. So let's just talk about my day. First off, I'm wearing some of my new clothing. Um, it's like an oversized sweater. Then I have my leggings and cap socks, which is fun. <laughs> I finished someone's story this morning and I don't entirely know my thoughts on it. I am still trying to figure that out because it just, it didn't hit me as hard as I thought it would. It made me emotional and I had emotions. <laughs> um, and it definitely like, triggered a response out of me. It's really weird because in my head I'm like, it's a four star book. As the book it is, it's a four star book. But for me, it was like a three, three and a half star read. Like, somehow I acknowledge that it's a good book, but it just didn't hit me in the way that I wanted it to. And that's the point where I'm like, well, which one do I rate it as? <laughs> I loved a lot of what it said. There were a few plot twists or just I don't even know if they're plot twists, they're just things that were shocking or something. The first one, I guessed pretty early on. The second one, I um, had no clue about. Like there were a couple things where I was like, hmm, but I didn't think. <laughs> the third one, I suspected. Um, and then I think there was a fourth one, but I can't remember what. Oh, the fourth one, I did guess, but I wasn't, <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe unless you've read the book. I don't know how to explain it without like totally giving spoilers, but there was some guessability and then there was some that was like, whoa, okay. Um, overall I liked it, I thought it was interesting. And a big part of this book is that you don't always know what's going on with people around you. So like. The thing is, you're going through stuff, but just because something might look good on the outside doesn't mean that everything on the inside is going well. Um, and that's a big part of this book. But at one point near the end, one of the characters is like looking around the rest of his senior class and he's like, these people, they don't know anything. They're like, like I've grown up so much. And maybe I read that line wrong. I can try and find it. I have my iPad right here, but it just felt very like, what? That, that's not very nice. <laughs> my journey has aged me far beyond my years. It is hard to look at these people the same way. Most of them don't know what real loss is. They don't know what real problems look like. They have danced with the devil inside my mind and I'm still standing. They all seem soft. Um, and it was just kind of like, I don't know, that just doesn't... <laughs> I can see where some of the good is like, or just, I can see where it's not flawed in certain ways, but I see it as sort of flawed thinking. Earlier in the book, someone, the name of the main character or what they go by, um, finds out that like there are two families that seem very great and happy on the outside, but there's a lot more going on on the inside. Um, I think it's two. There, there's one that's the main one, and he's like, wow, I never even, like, suspected. And he sort of learns his lesson, like, he learns not to just judge everything from the outside. But then for him to go and say that later is kind of like... What? <laughs> you know, it just feels very weird for him to say that. I get that when you have a lot of problems going on, you can look at other people and be like, they don't even know what I'm going through. Maybe they don't know what you're going through, but they have other stuff they're going through. There are some people who, yeah, they don't have a lot of problems going on. They're chill and, you know, whatever. But, 
You can't just assume that about your entire senior class. Like, really? <laughs> um, it just seems very strange that that was said. So overall, I really enjoyed it. I just, it didn't impact me as much as I think it could have. I don't know exactly why this book didn't like impact me as much. Like there were definitely things I really liked about it, and there were a lot of messages from it that I enjoyed. And even though I was able to guess some of the plot lines, I was still interested to find out that that was what it was or like that that was going on, you know? Yeah, so that's my experience <laughs> with someone's story. Um, I really like the book, but I just really don't know what to rate it. I don't know if you guys have ever been in this position where like you just, you like a book a certain amount but you know its value in a different amount, I guess. I haven't rated any of the books that I've read so far this week, um, mostly because I'm, I, I need to like think about them. Um, so maybe at the end of the week I'll like give you all of my ratings once I've sort of figured them out. But let's move on to The Picture of Dorian Gray. I'm gonna start calling it Dorian Gray because that's a long name and you know who I'm talking about. I was on page 26 this morning and then a little while ago I was on page 52 um, and now I am a little over halfway at page 86. So Dorian <laughs> wacky dude. <laughs> um, it took a while to get to the point where the painting actually like changed. Yeah Dorian he is now much more morally gray. Uh, just like he did some things that were kind of just like, oh, that, that was rude. <laughs> um, and then Lord Henry is an ass. Like, like he has a lot of thoughts and he's very confident in his thoughts. And there are a lot of things where I'm like, oh my God, does Oscar Wilde feel this way? The only, the only reason I believe that Oscar Wilde doesn't feel this way is because like, if Lord Henry is talking about a certain thing, that's like, the other characters around him are like, that's not how you really feel, bro. Like, surely that's not how you feel, blah, blah, blah. Like, and Lord Henry's like, <laughs> um, so because the other characters like condemn his thoughts sometimes, that's the only re like reason for me to believe that Oscar Wilde doesn't think those things. Um, I hope. <laughs> Some like really misogynistic and just whack as shit things. So Dorian is uh, he was engaged, now he's not for reasons. Basically the reasons being that he was an ass. And Basil, we love him. He's a reclusive artist sometimes who's like in love with Dorian. Basil's gay. He, like, he's gotta be. He talks about, like, confessing it, you know? Confess confessing that, like, he, he, he doesn't say love, but he's like, you're gorgeous or whatever. I worship you. I never don't want to be around you. Like, all that jazz. Come on. I also just really like his name. I really like the name Basil. I don't know if he has a last name. I mean, he probably does, but like, I don't know if they've said it. Um, I don't remember it. Oh yeah, it's like How Howell, Hoswell, Halwin. It starts with an H. <laughs> um, but Basil's a good name. I freaking love it. Baz for short. So I'm enjoying it, but it's uh, weird. I was pretty sure that Dorian was morally gray, but then I was reading and I was like, he seems like a pretty cool dude. Like he's a little narcissistic, but you know? And then things happened. I was like, oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm a little over halfway and I'm not get, I'm enjoying it now. I was falling asleep earlier, but I'm enjoying it now. And I'm not going to read any more of it tonight just because I want to wait. Um, I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I'll hopefully finish it tomorrow. And I think I'm going to start reading Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Um, I have the audiobook for this as well on Libby. First, I'm going to edit 
this a little bit just so I can have that out of the way. This is me editing this. I'm eating pizza. In other news, I watched the last episode of the final season of Sherlock and it was mind boggling. Like, oh my god. <laughs> um, crazy. Yeah, I, I really like watching Sherlock <laughs> and so I don't, like, the cases are fresh enough that I feel like going back and rewatching all the episodes would be kind of like, meh, but I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to watching Criminal Minds. I haven't watched that in a long time. Hi, it is the next day and I've taken a shower, in case you're wondering. <laughs> so last night I edited most of this video, um, but I ended up finishing editing around like 10. I read for a bit and then by the time I had finished reading, I didn't want to film anything, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to chapter three, so page 38 in Uprooted. I'm liking it so far. Um, the narrator has like a Polish accent, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I just thought I would come and update you on that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know that this kind of sucked because I lost basically all of the footage. Or I didn't lose it, just didn't have audio. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.